Well, the reviews are in on last night's attack on Syrian airfields. The media loved it. So did John McCain, and as you heard, Lindsey Graham, too. Most of official Washington was thrilled. Even many Democrats in Congress, the ones who were denouncing the president as a Nazi and a Russian agent simultaneously just 20 minutes ago, managed to say nice words about last night's mission, which was nice. So who's not on board? Let's see. Well, according to a piece by someone named Ben Schreckinger at Politico, the skeptics are limited to what he calls Trump's troll army, racists and conspiracy mongers. Huh. The New York Times came to the same conclusion, noting that the strongest opposition to bombing Syria came from the, and I'm quoting now, small but influential white nationalist movement. The Washington Post agreed with this assessment. They said the war's critics hold, quote, racist, anti-Semitic, and sexist views. But wait a second. Why would white supremacists oppose the bombing of a non-white country? Wouldn't they be for it? That part was never explained, by the way, just asserted because, of course, it makes no sense. It's literally absurd. Like so much news coverage, it's not news, but propaganda designed to smear and deceive rather than to inform. The news on this topic has never been faker.